Hey, what's up folks? In this project, we're making a case for an Adafruit Perma Proto. We designed and 3D printed this case for an upcoming project that uses an Adafruit feather. The case snap fits together and it secures a Perma Proto board without any screws. This makes it so it's easy to put together and take it apart. We made two versions, one for the half-size PCB and the other one for the full-size PCB. Both versions feature really similar snap fit design with a removable top and bottom covers. The Perma Proto is a great way to make a modular circuit with headers and connectors. We designed the CAD assembly with parametric features so it's really easy to adjust the dimensions of the case. Be sure to check out our GitHub repo for our 3D parts library so you can use them in your projects. For this project, we needed to solder a 12 and 16 pin strip of headers to the bottom of the feather. I like to use a solderless breadboard when soldering up headers to a breakout board. This helps keeps them nice and straight while soldering all of the pins. A silicone mat is also really helpful and it provides you with a nice and grippy surface. I've been putting our new solder fume extractor through its paces and I really enjoy using it on my projects. You can check out that project by clicking on the link in the description of this video. With the strip of headers installed, I added female headers so the feather can easily be removed or swapped out for a different board. I placed the feather close to the edge of the Perma Proto so the USB port is more accessible. I used pieces of mounting tack to help keep the headers in place while soldering them up. A pan of ice is also really nice to have. You can secure all sorts of PCBs to the jaws and adjust the head so you can get a better angle when you're soldering. All of the holes are through plated and feature a nice gold finish so you won't get any oxidation. Once all of the pins are soldered up, we can then remove the mounting tack. Be sure to inspect your solder joints and check to see if all the pins have enough solder. I also added an 18 pin dip socket for a solenoid driver with 8 channels. Once I had all of my wire soldered up, I installed it to the bottom cover using the built in standoffs and mounting tabs. The frame of the case is installed next by snap fitting it over the bottom cover. Lastly, the top cover can then be installed by snap fitting it into place. I hope you found this useful and hope this inspires you to try out the Adafruit Perma Proto for your next project.